So I'm going to just show you what I've been doing It's not really makeup but just like making me look a little bit more awake than I currently am. Um, my hair is greasy, I can't basically wash it, I've got a heart monitor on just for like today and tomorrow I left now, I've had it on for a week, I'm fine, it's just like checking up on like heart flutters and stuff. Um, so just ignore that, I'm trying to keep it out because it's just really distracting. But yeah, so my hair is greasy because I haven't been able to wash it but I thought I'd try the um, the dressing gown curls and it wouldn't like stay in so I twisted it around like this so I don't think it's gonna be very good but I thought I'd just show you my basic makeup which is not really makeup but I thought I'd do it for you anyway so I'm just going to quickly cleanse my skin I've just got the Garnier micellar cleansing water oil infused I do have these um spots that have appeared which is really annoying because I haven't had spots like that in quite a while so another thing I haven't had my hair cut since September so I'm getting it done on Monday well I cut my own hair at the start of lockdown but like I didn't really cut it um <laughs> so yeah I'm getting it cut and I'm getting it re-dyed on Monday I think I'm gonna do like a weekly vlog maybe I don't know I can't find where my bobbles are so this is gonna be an issue to try and get it all off I don't, my hair's, thing You've is got though, to take a photo of that. Thing is though, is that my hair's greasy because I haven't been able to wash it. Yeah. So it'll probably just end up in plaits because it's greasy. What I do when but my I hair's a bit greasy, I, I, I get my miner, mineral water, whatever it's called, and I do it through the gaps. I just yeah. split it and it takes the oil out mm. but leaves the rest of the hair. It's well, really mine's oil infused. Something so I've just kind of... Mine's yeah. oil infused, so I don't think that would work. Oh, no, you need the normal one. Yeah. Borrow mine if you ever want to. Uh -huh. I usually just put my hair in plaits if it's greasy. I'll see you later. See ya. Okay, so I feel a little bit more awake. I feel like just moisturising makes you feel awake. What have you done today to make you feel proud? <laughs> so, because I don't really want to actually do my eyebrows today, I'm just going to brush them out. At the moment, I plucked them the other day, so the shape is actually quite good. Not that you can tell because they like... They're so light on the ends. Yeah, I would wet my brush, but I'm just gonna kind of just dip my brush in and just get the tiniest bit of colour on my brows. Not to like actually shape them, but just to make them look a little bit more like, I, like they're there. So this just puts on like the tiniest bit of colour. I know it kind of just looks like nothing, but I can see a difference in person. I've just got this Revolution Ultra Cream Contour Palette, and I like to take this first shade here, oh gosh, just on my finger and I just start putting it under my eye. Honestly, my under eye like dark circles aren't too, like they're not too dark, but I feel like you either get dark circles or like you got a really noticeable line and I feel like I get that, not dark. I feel like this just helps to disguise it, although it's made it highlighted on that side. I'm just gonna grab my concealer and I'm gonna put this on my forehead. I'm taking the same like cream contour shade and I'm putting it around my nose. I did this when I went on a holiday because I had really bad sunburn on my nose and I didn't really want to have to wear like full makeup but I just wanted to disguise the red a little bit more and I'm just going to use it up here and a little bit on the top of my nose. I just kind of put it where I feel I need it. I feel like this side of my cheek isn't too blotchy. I'm just going to... So I don't always use this, but I feel like using it today. I've just got the Morphe X Mandy Ziegler in Peach Out. I use the tiniest bit. If I feel it's going a bit bright, I just take my sponge, because it's got a bit of concealer left, and just kind of... And then I'm just taking the highlight shade from this palette and using the teeniest bit on the end of my nose. And then just going up i love how it's literally not even showing up on camera um i've just got this lip gloss which is the morphe x maddie ziegler again in peach pucker and then the final thing is curly eyelashes usually i would heat them up but i find if i'm not putting mascara on they'll be fine it might take a little bit longer to curl but okay that's just like my basic 
make me look a little bit more awake. Okay, I'm just gonna take this out. I don't really know. I did this side first. I can't see the bubble. Here it is. I don't have high hopes, honestly, because I've twisted it up like this. So I did it and it all started coming out. Um, so I twisted it up to hope that it stays, but now I feel like I'm gonna have a kink that goes up. Now, I, as I said, I probably am gonna end up wearing it in a plait anyway today, but I just thought this is a good tester when it doesn't matter what my hair looks like. Everyone's looked so good that I saw online. And then mine's just like, okay, it's probably because my hair's a bit greasy. Maybe if it wasn't greasy, it'd work better. It wasn't like it was comfortable to sleep with either. It was really uncomfortable. Okay, so you know what? It's not that bad. Like I would probably wear my hair like this today, depending on what it's like at the back. Like it's not too bad, is it? It's just kind of like a natural, a natural wave. I mean, this is kind of sticking funny. And my hair does look a little bit greasy, I think. It's not too bad. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm still getting used to this camera. Not too bad. So this is today's hair and makeup. If I move you into like the actual light, it might be better. So here it is. Okay, cute. My hair has got so much longer. If you think back to like this time last year, my hair was quite short. I'll insert a photo here that I saw earlier of where my hair was. It was really short because I was looking back at my old vlogs of like the day I got my hair dyed and my hair was short. And I mean, yes, it had been curled, so it is a little bit shorter when it's like properly curled. It's probably like a bit shorter. But look, it's quite good actually. You have an allergy test today, finally. Um, hopefully, I can see what's wrong with me if there's anything wrong if it turns out i'm not allergic to anything then i'll probably need to book a doctor's appointment because my stomach is dodgy um i think i'm like lactose intolerant but at the same time i'm not sure because i don't really stick to like being lactose like not drinking lactose does that make sense not having dairy because I mean, I have oat milk in my tea because I drink tea all the time, so I thought that's an easy change. And I really, really love oat milk. Um, well, I like it in tea. I don't know if I'd like it in anything else. I don't mind it in hot chocolate. Anyway, I'm rambling. I still eat cheese and I eat like cream and chocolate and ice cream. I don't find ice cream really makes a difference to me. Um, but like if I eat, say like pancakes with like ice cream and stuff, then that's when my stomach goes dodgy, which is what sometimes makes me think, okay, maybe it's gluten because I get it still regularly despite like not eating as much dairy as I used to. So then I think maybe it is gluten, but then I don't actually know. It could be nothing. It could be something like IBS or something. So we just need to actually find out because it's been like over a year. <laughs> I have to wait in the car with like my mask on and everything and then they come and get you from the car uh, I'm trying to think of any other times I need a mask if you're going shopping now you need a mask if I get to go on my holiday I'll need a mask um, although we have holiday drama so it's getting to the point where I'm like okay my holiday hasn't been cancelled I'm going to be able to go on it and then my mum her passport is expired and usually if this has happened she like I remember one time she went I thought it was Scotland but it was Liverpool she went to Liverpool to the passport office to get her passport which is quite a drive um to get a new passport and she did that in like last minute but all the passport offices are closed at the moment so you can't like fast track your passport you just have to post it off as usual and hope you get it so we don't think it's going to arrive in time although so i think what we're going to do is we're going to move the holiday by two weeks because we can't cancel it um because it's a lot of money to lose out on and we'd rather just go anyway we're allowed to go at the moment um it's to greece we're going to by the way and yeah my hair mm, i'm still not sure but i mean it's fine it's fine i need to stop rambling i should go get a cup of tea
good against picking up a biscuit because it's quarter past 11 so by the time I finish my tea I'll be making my lunch anyway but I thought I'd start the day off unhealthy and just have a couple of these let's have a cherry and a cola bottle okay so this is the outfit of the day with fluffy socks I'm just heading out to my allergy test I'll let you know the results this is the cardigan from boohoo I've got this white t-shirt which I got from ASOS and then I've got my mom jeans from Bershka okay so I am back from my allergy test um it was an hour appointment I didn't think it was going to be that long but it was as you can see I did end up taking my hair out into parts I think I might have shown you that earlier anyway um so basically it was different how I was, I was, it was different how I was expecting it was going to be so I went in and she asked me like loads of questions she filled in this form and at the end of the question she goes I know what's wrong with you and I was like oh, okay um so she was like I think you're dairy intolerant so then she got out this machine which was like a frequency I don't know how to describe it but it was like a frequency thing and it connected to this metal thing which I held and then like a probe thing and then it also led to this tray which had like different things in so basically what she did was she had this probe you can kind of see I have a little red mark on my hand so she poked the probe into my pressure point and I think I can't remember the exact details but it was something to do with like 90 hertz or something like that and she was like so this is what it your body will be like if you're not allergic to something or something so then she put in poison into this thing obviously it's not going into me it's just in this little tray and then the probe and then it doesn't reach the certain frequency which means that your body can't i can't remember the word process it or it's bad for your body basically so poison is obviously just like a general one so obviously your body's not going to work with it and then she put in some other things and she was like and then when it reaches this frequency it means that your body can process it so I was like okay cool so she basically just put kept like putting a new thing into this container doing the probe and then like just changing it and doing all of that until she got to certain ones so for me I'm intolerant to cow's milk caseinate lactose whey margarine butter cheese and obviously like milk chocolate that kind of stuff yeah it was what I thought I thought I was lactose intolerant but I'm not just lactose intolerant I'm dairy intolerant she said it was quite bad but obviously that can all be reintroduced because it's an intolerant um another thing she said was heart flutters um and dizziness can also come from if you've got a dairy intolerance which is what I have I'm literally testing for that right now so that'll be interesting to see if I go off of this, whether all of that will improve. So yeah, that's another thing that I kind of learnt, which is something interesting. And she also said, because um, I told her that I was, the tablets I take, I take Lymocycline for my skin, as well as Cerazette, which is kind of for my skin as well. And she said that Lymocycline is an antibiotic. So because of, I've had been on them for like 18 months, I basically have no good bacteria in my stomach. So I've been given two months worth of probiotics to have, which I have to take morning and night, which is basically going to help me get the good bacteria back in my stomach. And hopefully, because dairy makes your skin bad, so she said, hopefully by removing the dairy from my diet, my skin will become better. And then I'll be able to go off of the limacycline. It's very annoying. My sister's blending something. But yeah, so hopefully if my skin gets better, I'll be able to go off the limacycline and then my like I'll have good bacteria in my stomach. So that's the thing. So she's basically said you need to have a strict no dairy diet for eight weeks, and then I have to go back again. And then after the eight weeks, she'll retest, see how it is, um, and then she will we'll see about adding some more dairy back into my diet and she also didn't she didn't test for any like um like environmental things she just tested for like internal things so she said sometimes if you are intolerant to something inside that makes it seem worse that you're like intolerant to other things around when you might not actually be so she said after the eight weeks she will then test for things like 
I don't know, like gas fumes, like dog hair, cat hair, that kind of thing. I, she did also say something, I can't remember what it was. No, I'm fine with my vitamins and all of that kind of stuff. She checked all my vitamins. So yeah, I'm basically just dairy intolerant. So she just gave me that and just some like information and the probiotics are kept in the fridge. So that was my little update for you. I need to, oh, it's my worst day. I hate Wednesdays so much. It's my cleaning day. So I need to go like clean the house. I also need to walk the dogs later, but my sister has got a maths tutor right now. So I need to wait until she has finished that. You can kind of see here the eyebrow color, how it makes a difference, but you can't usually see. Okay. Oh, that was a long chat. I feel like this whole vlog has just been a chat, but it's what I needed to do. So I've nearly finished all of my cleaning stuff. I've just got to do my mum and dad's bedroom and bathroom and then I'm done, which the cleaning jobs are just like my least favourite to do, but I'm making some money from it, so it's okay. Um, yeah, so I've only got that to do, which is really great. I'm really sweaty. So I am currently, because I'm going shopping with my dad tomorrow and I hate the shops at the moment. I just so... I don't know, even though they're meant to be more organised, I feel like they're kind of crazy. Sorry, this is kind of shaky. Um, <laughs> so, I'm just going through the Tesco website and I'm just writing down a ton of different options for me, um, including, like, butter, puddings, because I like puddings, um, like, ice cream, cream, cheese, like, all of those kind of things, because that is what I like. But also, my mum is meant to be making my birthday cake and I need to make some cupcakes, um, I need to make gluten and dairy free cupcakes because my friend Zara is gluten free and I'm dairy free now so yeah but I have seen that there's a dairy free baking spread so that's fine um, and same as just like a butter so it won't be the same <laughs> when it comes to like icing and I think my mum's gonna have to change the whole plan of my cake because it's the icing just doesn't work properly using dairy free butter but we're gonna give it a go. I've just looked at all the dairy free stuff. Now I'm just going through goat stuff and then I need to look at sheep stuff. <laughs> and I'm doing that watching Grey's Anatomy. Sorry, this is so shaky. I'm just kind of like, whoa. That's what I'm doing. I'm currently looking into options for next year because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna turn the exposure up a tiny bit. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing next year um, with everything. My aim is to be at dance a lot more. If you've been watching, you'll know I'm thinking about going into musical theatre. So yeah, the aim is to be at dance a lot more, but with coronavirus, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Um, so yeah, and I'm looking at the possibility of what I'm doing to work next year, whether I stay where I am um, and hopefully get enough hours, but I'm not sure I will. Um, I am really interested in like kids, childcare, nannying, that kind of thing so I'm currently doing an online course it doesn't give you an official like qualification but it is a level three difficulty if you get me and it's on the center of excellence which I saw Ellie Darby a couple months ago she like left a link and if you use the code I'll put it here then the courses are something like 29 pounds so got a really good deal you get like a certificate afterwards and you can pay more to have like a a different kind of thing um, but I just thought this would help me gain some insight so I'm just doing that I've only just started it I've done I'm only on module one and I've done part one and part two and I'm just moving on to part three um, and I think there's something like hang on there's eight modules and there's four parts in each module with an assessment at the end of each so yeah I've really literally just started I just thought it would be helpful um, just to gain a bit of extra insight. Some of it I'll probably already know, but I just thought it'd be really useful. The course that I'm doing is called, it's Childcare and Early Learning Diploma. Hey, so I haven't vlogged yet today and it is like four o'clock, but I just went to the shops with my dad because I had to get a ton of like dairy free stuff. I had to just got, I just got basic stuff. Um, I got some cheese, I got some like puddings, 
it's actually basically all we got. <laughs> got some yogurts, which I don't really even like them, but we're just gonna have to give it a try. But I just thought I would go outside and edit my video and maybe watch Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> just thought it'd be nicer to sit outside. Tomorrow we are going to the beach, which will be really nice. But yeah, this is what I've been wearing today. Just this like strappy top and these denim Bershka shorts. So I think I'll probably just go out in this. I need to put a bit of sun cream on because I will burn even though it is four o'clock. I've been sunbathing for like an hour now. I've been listening to Taylor Swift's Folklore album, which I'm really liking. I'm so hot. Anyway, I need to get on to some editing. <laughs> Oh 